Oh no. The crew consists of three humans, Dylan McGaster, seven days sailing experience, skipper. Jackson Peters, two months as a deckhand, admiral. Tara Ware, five days sailing from Colombia to Panama, treasurer. The Balearic Islands, resting in the western part of the Mediterranean. The plan, sail from Barcelona, Spain, to Mallorca, and onward to Ibiza. The vessel, yet to be purchased. You can't make yourself interested in something. Interest manifests itself and grips you. That's a whole different thing. You're compelled forward by your interest. Welcome to C++, the vessel that will take us all over the Mediterranean. From Greece to Spain, actually from Spain to Greece, hopefully to Israel, this is C++. The deal was done for $10,000 and we were committed to the artist formerly known as C++ in all of her beauty and all of her faults. As you can see, it's not like perfect condition, but it's super thick. In case there is there to get the tofu. I like this. The, the engine was taken out, this is sound completely tiny tiny bit oily, but it runs right. She was a little bit beaten down, but the necessity, potential, and the vision were there. Now it is time for action. Organize your local landscape. Schedule your time. Start taking control of yourself. See if you can stop saying things you know to be lies out here killing mold. This is a, a process of soul searching. Modern time. You have to figure out what it is. What will work for you? Miscellaneous hardware. Miscellaneous. 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 Plugs. <laughs> First time out. Is that ship coming in here? You get one shot at this gig right here. Life. So you have to go into the unknown, and that's that's God's first command. Go into the unknown. Gauge doesn't work. We are going to Mallorca. Well, it's an excitement at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's an overnight sail, our first sail. We're off. Woo! Raise the main. Raise the main sheet. We're sailing. I'm sailing. <laughs> this is C++ furling out the head sail. More windy out there? 13 to 15 knots of wind. Go ahead, enjoy. Hey, Jackson? Not a problem. We gotta take a look. And the most important thing to learn is that we have so much to learn. We all do. And we can learn from school and from people and from experience and we learn from life. It's a pretty tumultuous sea. Stop the presses! Captain Matias, the uh, captain of the cruise ship we were on, said that just a little bit of alcohol helps settle the stomach, allegedly. In the sun, able to look out, it's, it's not too bad. Trying to adjust the outhaul so that we don't get so much weather helm. Oops. We sailed for like four hours with a, uh, a not fully tensioned bluff. So I guess it's good we got it now. There was Braddock's at a big table with a party called Francis Klein, Mrs. Braddock's, several people I did not know.
the sea at night is unlike anything I've known. The dark immense below, the vast array of stars and planetary bodies overhead, traversing the fragile line in between, with Mars as our heading, I began the first watch. Then ease the main sheet. What do you see, Cap? Land ho! Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> Ouch. Some mysterious way we lost 60 gallons of water. It was going perfectly according to plan until I gave it too much forward. Can you see that? That is a little ding on the bow. Ah! That didn't work quite like I thought. Just back off. Derek, come watch this right here. Ah! Did we hit the bow pulpit? The wind was pushing us right into the but we're gonna get hit with a nice little storm tonight, so that'll be fun. Here, this is our first night on anchor. So there's a couple wraps around the winch. Two head sails were coming unfurled. Our anchor is holding. It would totally blow if it wasn't. But thank the Lord, it's totally working. Sailing vessel Swift. This is Swift. Copy. We just uh, pickled the outboard engine. Ouch. Here we go. Oh, it's all the way out there. Yeah, the camera can't even see that. Here goes nothing. It's chilly. We had it locked onto the dinghy, and then the ferry came by, and we got hit with a giant weight, and the halyard was still attached to the engine, and so the dinghy went down, the halyard went up, the engine went over, and then down. You got it? Got it. Okay. I didn't cinch it, though. We're gonna start hauling this in. Many boaters would certainly agree that one of the most character building situations in recreational boating is dealing with an Ooh. engine that has slipped its mouth and needs recovery from the deep, also known as pickling an engine. All right. It is still chilly. To go around the island down here to Ibiza, which is this island down here, and there's a little town of Ibiza. It should be relatively quick, but we'll see how it goes. Finally filling up with gasoline. Although it is diesel. So we're checking the wind here, so we'll be headed right into the wind. We're gonna have to motor some of it, unfortunately. Goodbye, Swift! Sea gods, may you look upon us with grace. Big love. It would appear that we have a problem. Hey, Jackson. What you cooking down there? Oh, no. Okay, what the f just happened? The engine is all wet. Is that where the water's gone? I would guess that it's a coolant leak. But that leak is no idea and the engine is like 200 degrees oh did it just, was it just this why did you spend that but that might be the culprit but not positive it is quite rocky down here oh boy oh jesus you feeling sick not yet i think it's fine engine spewing coolant all over the place and that changes all of our plans son of a bitch you got it People call it Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Don't necessarily believe in Murphy's Law, but maybe right now I am. Why am I using a fucking flashlight? We've got a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that is not that funny, but man. We're still having motor problems. Seventeen thirty yesterday we left. Now it's fourteen thirty-five, and we're back at the place we anchored last night. It's literally an hour walk from where we anchored two nights ago. We're walking. Swim on a warm day. Nice, it's super refreshing. So it's... we've almost got this thermostat off. Engine block is in the way. This here is a thermostat. The way you test this is you put it in a container of water and boil it. It would appear that our thermostat is functioning. I don't know what the issue is now. Pulling it up now. The wind looks good today, and it should carry us the full way from a beam reach to a broad reach. Uh, you can see the wind right there. You can see wind behind us, but we're in another calm. Reading both pages, and we got two jive preventers. Life is long, so you wouldn't be wrong. Even me, staying on this own. point of sale and at this bearing for another 6.6 .6 nautical miles. In order to get in oil out of a diesel marine engine, you have to siphon it out. It's working! That's how they work. Yeah. 